So I'm here this morning with uh, Steve Monaghetti. Steve, uh, fantastic to have you in Adelaide again. Uh, we've seen you here a few times in uh, recent years, obviously coming across for Fitzy's Fire, but here for the Adelaide Marathon today. Beautiful weather here in Adelaide, the beautiful Adelaide Oval here behind us. Uh, how did you enjoy the racing today? Yeah, not too bad. It's obviously a beautiful setting and the crowd and the weather was, was on our side today, so it was a perfect run and I, I was OK, got going a bit, sort of started started the event, jumped in and passed a few people and I'd move up from sort of pack to pack and uh, run along with a few people and tried to encourage him. He didn't quite get under 78, so I let him down, but anyway, we had a good day. And uh, 78 minutes for you, that's a long way from, I think, your, your world best at the time, which is maybe 60.01. Uh, obviously you've scaled back a little bit these days in terms of running uh, quick but you're still doing quite a few k's as I understand you maybe 100k a week at the moment is it still uh, that sort of level of training for you? Yeah I try to get 100 if I can it's difficult you know I've got um, work just traveling and working in, in different environments so just but I run every day and I make that a priority you know that's the, the thing that gets me to, the, to a lot of events so I make sure I prioritize that and um, so I try to get out every day do my long run do my sessions and come and, and race and recover in between you know when you're getting older you've got to sort of balance it up a little bit but I love what I do and, and it's great to see so many recreational runners out there sharing the, the love for the sport that we do. Well, we certainly love the sport here at uh, Running SA. We were talking a little bit uh, earlier before uh, obviously we started chatting to you here about injuries and obviously you've had a very long career where you've been able to uh, keep going and you've, I don't know how many years you've been going now, but uh, to still be sort of running that at that level. Uh, how have you managed to stay uh, fairly well injury free throughout that uh, very long career? Yeah, that's a good question. I'm, I'm getting a few niggles in that now, you know, hamstrings, calves, all that old man's calves, I think they say that we get. So it's about managing your body, you know, I try to still get massage and look after myself. So, and I run pretty conservatively during the week. So it, a lot of it's recovery now and, you know, making sure I listen to my body and if I'm a bit sore, I'll just run through and not do sessions. But I try to, you know, keep the routine and the rhythm going if I can and listen to my body. And the older you get, the smarter you've got to be. And that yeah. seems to have worked okay okay for me. You know, I think I'm biomechanically pretty sound, but you've still got to do all the right things. It's all right having the, the equipment, but you've still got to put that equipment to good use. So, you know, when you love what you do, you're prepared to make some sacrifices, work hard, do all those extra little things to allow you to keep your body in shape to run. Yeah, and you've uh, obviously gone around the country doing a lot of events over, over recent years, and I, I suppose almost a second career for you now, uh, travelling around doing races. Uh, what, what's next? What's coming up in the next uh, few months or over the next few years for you? Yeah, so I'm off to Rockhampton next weekend for a, a run up there. So, you know, lots of variety. There's, you know, such a, a, an interest in uh, running now that's great to be able to go to different events. And, you know, hopefully I add something to the event. You know, you come here. I don't come here for a holiday. You come here to, you know, give value to the event, promote the sport, hopefully give people a bit of, um, you know, support along the way and they can get a bit of a buzz out of having me here. So it's nice to be able to give something back to the sport as well so it's a busy schedule but I'm trying to sort of scale back my my racing a little bit and you know just allow allow a bit more enjoyment rather than turning up at races thinking I've got to win and compete in them I relax a bit more so it's nice to still be able to do it in the, the level that I am. Excellent well thanks for talking us to, thanks, to us this morning uh, Steve and uh, we look forward to seeing you in Adelaide again in pleasure. the very near future. Love coming back here and people are really friendly and look after me really well here so I'm sure I'll be back soon thanks Adam. Thanks, mate.